All right, while I sit here for a minute and ponder this, because it's big, um, I do want to share a few things. So over the years, I've obviously watched a million YouTube videos, just like the rest of you. Um, and I've been painting a lot, so I've picked up a lot of bad habits. Um, and I do things um, differently, I would say, which is good because this is art and however you feel comfortable doing it is how you should do it. So to do my edges just now, I used a mini roller, paint on the roller, it's such a big canvas. I'm not gonna sit here and squirt the edges or, um, it would just take too much time and scraping the bottom and blah, blah, blah. And this gives it a good coverage and um, gets the job done. Second, let's see, second, <laughs> instead of a creme brulee torch, um, I'm a bit of a DIYer. Um, so yeah, going along the lines of go big. Got my uh, my tank from Home Depot, and um, I think it works famously. So I do that. Um, I mix my paints a little differently. I feel like, and you'll see that my paint once I put it on the canvas starts to dry immediately. Um, that's great because this canvas will be dry tomorrow, um, but it doesn't give a lot of room to think about it. Um, which is frustrating. Um, I've thought about using a humidifier. I've thought about doing a lot of things, but um, I make my paints a little thinner um, so they move faster. And then on such a big canvas, I'm probably gonna break this into sections, do one section and then do the other section um, the paint for that after and yeah I'm all doing this in the middle of my living room it makes every single one of my friends cringe cringe when I send them pictures um usually I put down more plastic but on this one I think I'm gonna be okay yeah I think that's it um and then see let me show you here I've done this in Photoshop on my computer um just as inspiration. I'm, yeah. Broken, but your memory's intact Well, it's running through your head like an explosion And the smiles on all the faces of the children in the park Are just a momentary loss of inhibition Or you try to keep it all intact with bubblegum and twine Well, it's bound to make a mess along the sidewalk And a sticky wish is weaseled in the corner of your brain Now it's time to let the weasel talk again Clear as mud and nearly twice as thick It's out of reach and heavy as a brick Well, it's quick to make a notion of your rubber gun and motion And it's getting so much louder every day What you saying, what you saying to me What you saying, what you saying to me? Ooh, what you saying, what you saying to me? Ooh, what you saying, what you saying to me? I can't hear a word. I can't hear a word. I can't.
magnify the dots And you blow up pink balloons when it's your birthday And you look inside the glove box for a map when you are lost But there is not a road sign lit in me to you Oh, I hear the words and nouns and verbs and conjugated forms But they just never seem to quite make up a sentence And the dictionary tells me where the words you say are from So let me file it under I for incoherence mud and nearly twice as thick And it's out of reach and heavy as a brick Oh, it's quick to make a nose And of your overgrown emotion And it's getting so much louder every day What you're saying, oh, what you're saying to me What you say and what you say to me What you say and what you say to me What you say and what you say to me oh, What you say and what you say That took me two hours, two and a half hours, three hours. By the time I mixed the paint, painted, cleaned up, got all the paint off my feet, off my legs, off my stomach. I don't even understand how it gets there. And I don't understand how it can be less of a mess. If anybody has any good ideas, let me know. Yes, I should have a table, but for a four foot by four foot piece, it's hard. I'm just gonna tell you, there's not a table that would make this easier, I don't think. Um, doing it on the floor is probably the easiest. Um, my advice, just try, try it. Start with an eight by eight canvas, eight inch canvas, then go to a 12 inch canvas. Or get a pack of five of the 60 by 20s at Michael's for 10 bucks. Buy three colors um, and mess around with Dutch pours and, and just find your own consistency. Find your own mixture that works for you because I'm a firm believer I've tried everybody else's mixtures and they don't work. I, I don't know why. I mean, they work, but they don't work as well as what they work for them. So I don't know if it's humidity, if it's um, their environment, if it's they mix their paints two days before they use them, if it's, you know, there's lots of variables and this is art. So who cares if nobody else likes it, if you like it? I mean, unless you're trying to do this to sell your stuff, if you like it, that's all that matters. Hang it up on the wall, just like you would your kid's art project in school. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's a mess. My tile's a mess. My back hurts too much to clean it, but I'll do it tomorrow. It'll come right up with Windex. It's, thank God. Um, let me take you in and show you what it looked like after. And uh, I'll do a video on a stride. Here is what the final piece looked like. 
The colors are so vibrant. So nice. Stepping in paint everywhere. Yeah, here it is. Here it is dry. I did do a couple things off camera. Um, I blew more, I touched it. I poured more paint. I don't know, when you think you're done, sometimes you aren't. And I forgot to turn my camera back on. But this is how it ended up finishing up. I'm very happy with it. It's going to look fantastic in my house. Four feet by four feet.